and welcome back to another week in new genre books. Thanks for stopping by. We're always glad to have you here. My name is Amelia, and from Locus Magazine, I'm about to tell you the top new science fiction, fantasy, and horror books being published the week of December 13th, 2022. Please like and subscribe. It's a big part of keeping this booktube going. Also, please go check out our Indiegogo fundraiser for Locus to get us through 2023. We are a donor-supported magazine and rely on donor support, so please go check out all of the donor swag, like signed books, author chats, there's a Locus coffee mug, a t-shirt, author interactions, like Zoom chats, like you could talk to your favorite author with your actual voice and see their actual face and stuff, story crits, and more. The link is in the notes below. Anyway, books. They come out every week. We're gonna talk about it. I've got links for timing if you want to skip to your favorite category, be it science fiction, fantasy, or horror. We love them all. Starting with science fiction books this week, we have three SF titles being published. From Christopher Ruocchio, we have Ashes of Man, out from DAW in hardcover ebook and audio. This epic science fiction novel is the fifth in the Sun Easter series about Hadrian Marlowe. The writer David Brin said, a craftsman of rare ability, Christopher Ruocchio lures you into a future filled with danger, action, irony, vaulting prose, and a few precious dollops of hope. Next up, we have Nathan Dodge's Hidden Enemy, out from Wordfire Press and trade paperback hardcover and ebook, the first novel in the War of the Exorn series. In it, a diverse group of five enter the Shadow Warrior Academy, training to defend the Galactic Alliance on behalf of Earth. And lastly, we have Star Trek Harm's Way, out from Publishing Gallery in trade paperback, ebook, and audio. In this Star Trek tie-in novel, Captain James T. Kirk and the crew of the Starship Enterprise go in search of a missing Federation scientist, only to become trapped between a Klingon warship and Starfleet's mysterious Operation Vanguard. And this is Amelia again, just editorializing slightly. Um, if we look up what Merriam-Webster has to say about the word vanguard, it's kind of not mysterious. Uh, vanguard is one, the forefront of an action or movement, or two, the troops moving at the head of an army. The context of a Klingon warship tells us that this is probably the latter definition, not the former, but you don't have to take my word for it. The only way to know is to read the book. Next up, fantasy, six titles this week. Starting off, we have two titles from Mercedes Lackey. The first is Into the West, out from Titan Books UK in hardcover, ebook, and audio. This fantasy novel is the second in the Founding of Valdemar series, part of the overall Heralds of Valdemar series. Baron Valdemar and his people have found a temporary haven, but they don't all fit. The second title is an anthology of stories edited by Lackey. The book, titled Shenanigans, is coming out from Daw in trade paperback and ebook. This is a set of 19 stories by other authors, with one by Mercedes Lackey herself, set in her Valdemar universe and coming in at number 16 in the Valdemar series. Honestly, they had me at shenanigans. Who doesn't want to read a book about shenanigans? Next, from Adrian Tchaikovsky, we have City of Last Chances, out from Ad Astra in hardcover and ebook. The city of Ilmar struggles under foreign occupation, along with a powerful criminal underworld, greedy factory owners, and an ancient curse. Is there any? Other kind of curse in these books, though. How about a modern curse? What would a modern curse even sound like? Would you rather have a curse on your dating apps or the plumbing in your bathroom? From Jennifer Roberson, we have Sword Bearer out from Daw in trade paperback and ebook. This fantasy novel is the eighth in the Sword Dancer saga series featuring Tiger and Dell. From AM to Omala, we have The Map and the Territory, out from Candlemark and Gleam in trade paperback and ebook. This is a fantasy novel illustrated by Heeson Wan. An earthquake shatters the Siri of Sheris, leaving cartographer Ruka Mazreen stuck in the ruins with a wizard companion. And I feel like there's a lot of hope for a happy ending because ruins happen, earthquakes happen, but a wizard companion probably has a good head on their shoulders and can help you get through it. Lastly, from Ilona Andrews, we have Sweep of the Heart, out from Nyla Publishing in trade paperback and ebook. This is a fantasy novel, the sixth book in the Innkeeper Chronicles. The Inn is forced to host an intergalactic spouse search for one of the galaxy's most powerful rulers after Sean's werewolf mentor is kidnapped, which is one of those sentences that just didn't exist in the English language before today. And can we just admire part of it? Like, who wouldn't want a werewolf mentor? What could a werewolf mentor teach you, and why wouldn't you want to rescue them if they are kidnapped? And because we don't have any horror titles on our list this week, it happens. I wanted to circle back to a book I know I've mentioned briefly, but we will tell you a bit more about it in our occasional segment in case you missed it. 
The book is Lucky Girl, How I Became a Horror Writer, A Krampus Story by M. Rickert, out from Tor.com in trade paperback and ebook, and it came out in September 2022. From the review in Locus by Gary K. Wolf, M. Rickert has long demonstrated her skill in managing the venerable tradition of tales nested within tales in such brilliantly constructed stories as Journey into the Kingdom and Cold Fires, not to mention last year's The Shipbuilder of Bell Ferry. Her new novella, Lucky Girl, which bears the dual subtitles How I Became a Horror Writer and A Krampus Story, continues not only that tradition, but the equally venerable traditions of club stories and really creepy Christmas tales. I've seen Rickert compared to writers such as Robert Aikman and Shirley Jackson. She's won a Jackson Award and been nominated four other times, which is a way of saying she's one of those writers for whom the term horror doesn't quite fit and doesn't quite not. So that's Gary's thoughts. I think horror is one genre defined by a feeling, the feeling of horror, and I would vouch for Rickert's work having that feeling of horror. Just consider the title of her story, The Girl Who Ate Butterflies, originally published in the magazine of fantasy and science fiction. You don't feel a little horrified already, girl who ate butterflies? We like that feeling, that horror feeling, we like it. That wraps up this week. Thanks for spending some time with us. At Locus, we want to tell you everything relevant that's happening in the science fiction fantasy horror publishing space. We appreciate your eyes and ears and your likes and subscribes. Please do subscribe so you hear about this video when it goes up every week. We are at Locus Mag or at Locus Magazine on most platforms. And remember, we need your crowdfunding support this month for our 2023 year. If you like what we do, please go check out our Indiegogo fundraiser right now. Get yourself some donor swag like rare signed books, author chats, story critiques, t-shirts, acts of whimsy, so much good stuff, and show a little love. This magazine and this YouTube channel are a labor of love. We are a 501c3 nonprofit. Come back and see us again soon, and we'll be here next week with more new books.